but hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. We're gonna throw down some cards for somebody. Sorry, I haven't posted in a couple of weeks. Um, life happened again in kind of a big way. I'm not gonna go too far into it. Long story short, we're here now. We're gonna throw down cards. We're gonna get this set done for the month of April and hopefully get May's done by the end of April. So we're just gonna see how life goes. Anyway, I don't even know who's next at this point. Virgo, good deal. Okay, you're next. Okay, this reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the gods if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate. Two of Wands upright, Eight of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Maybe some of you are trying to decide what you're going to put your energy into or what you're going to walk away from. I don't know. Somebody's at a crossroads about something. Anyway, if it doesn't resonate with you, Virgo, doesn't resonate with you, I got distracted. You can check your moon rising your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome here, and I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks for coming by. While you're here, if you feel so inclined, I'm not going to twist your arm. You don't have to. You can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. I know I'm a lot to take in. I am. I'm. A, I'm. I'm a lot of fire energy in in, in one single package. I'm a goofball too, especially when I'm exhausted. So yeah, hit subscribe, notification bell, hit the like button while you're there, you know, if you want. Okay, before I throw the cards down for Virgo for the month of April, we're gonna go over a couple of quick things. One, one, never, ever, ever make a life alteration decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good practice. I read tarot and I would never in a million years do that too. It is not your story, not your reading, not your message. Leave the cards on the table and walk away. It doesn't belong to you. Don't take it with you. Okay. Here we go. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for April 2021. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Virgo to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Virgo, why are you here? The fool. Who's jumping? Hmm. Are you at the jumping off point? Is there something new and exciting coming your way? Maybe that. Maybe that's what some of you are trying to decide. Um, am I going to stop putting energy into something and start putting energy into something else? Okay, I can see where that would be a crosswords card, but we'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. We'll see if that Two of Wands or the Eight of Pentacles comes back out. All right, we're going to do a five card across the table. Three cups. Hmm, it's a three. Threes spook me. I'm just throwing that out there now. I get spooked a little bit by the threes, but if it's only one... It's no big deal. It could be celebration. Could we get together with friends, hanging out, having a good time? It's it's the happiness card. Hopefully. Again, we'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Living the dream? Somebody was living the dream. Virgo, that, this is a card that can represent you. It, it is the Queen of Pentacles. It is divine female earth energy. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be female. Pick whatever pronoun suits you, but. Huh. I'm going to throw some clarifiers on this. 
I'm getting a sense for some of you, and I don't know who this is for, and this is how I read. I'm sorry. I'm clear audience, or I have a tendency to be so when I sense it and I, and I, and I feel it and I hear it and it starts resonating in my head. Some of you may have met someone at a party. I don't know if it's resonating. Cool. If it's not, leave it alone. But you met the cat's meow at a party for, for some of you, somebody, somebody out there needs to hear this. You met the catch. Huh? Hey, what's going on right now? Four of Pentacles. Okay. Eek! 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 It's hanging on to somebody. Something. Not wanting to let it go. Might be another reason why somebody's at crossroads. the good old miser. We don't even, we don't always have to be miserly, but just money. So throw that out the window for a second. You can be miserly with your emotions. Absolutely. You, you can lock, lock up your feelings and not want to let them go. Hmm. All right. What's coming in? Four of swords laying something to rest. Mm. Here's the thing about that. Here's the thing about that. At least in this particular depiction, the dude on, on the laying on the casket isn't hanging on to the sword with one hand. It, it really is. He, yeah, he's he's praying. He's meditating. He's having a moment with Source, God, how, however you want to refer to your higher power. Having a moment. It's reflection, reflection on heartbreak possibly because the three swords are hanging up above him. Him, her, it, whatever. Again, forget the pronoun, insert whatever works best for you. If it's resonating. Some of you may be going to your higher power to help you make this decision. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Princess of Wands. It's, it's communication. Um, of a certain nature could be. Doesn't necessarily have to be. It could just be a fast talker. I don't know. It might be sugar and spice and all things nice. And those of you who have been hanging out for a while know what that means. I dance around a certain topic that... I try not to discuss in my videos because it just, it's just, it's a slippery slope when you start talking about it. So things of a certain nature, I'll put it to you that way. It's talking, it's communication anyway. Some of you may have met someone new, having a hard time letting something else go. Hmm. See you talking, though. See you talking. All right, we're going to set this aside for now. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I need to get a new Witch's Tarot deck. This one's really beat up. Really super beat up. Okay. Favorite stars and spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Virgo, please? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021. Oh, come on. One shuffle. You're going to get tossed out of the deck anyway. Don't argue. The deck likes to argue with me. Why do you shuffle and cut if you're just going to let them go where they're going to go? Because that's how I roll. That's how I do things. You shuffle to get the energy you want into the card. That's what you do. Oh, then you drop them all over the place. Oh no, strength in the shadow side. Oh me, oh my. What? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily mind this one coming back out, but this one. I mean, it, 
Shadow Side being the devil card is not all bad. It, it talks about releasing the toxic crap out of your life. But we'll see if it comes back out. I'm trying not to force it. All right. All right, let's try. Lovers, that's what I thought. That's a toughie, Virgo, I'm not going to lie. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. doesn't necessarily have to be. I, 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 have, I have Aries and I have Gemini on the board right now. You could be dealing with either one of them. You don't even necessarily have to be dealing with one of those. I got a little bit of everybody on the board right now. I got a little fire. I got a little earth. I got a little air. I got a little water. So... But the lover's card can can talk about the coming together of two soulmates that aren't necessarily quite on the same page yet, or can talk about having a choice between two. I mean, definitely some divine intervention going on here, but divine intervention, divine intervention can only do so much because we have free will. It's like source can lead you to water, but he can't force you to drink. He, she, it, whatever. I refer to him as a he. It, it, again, it doesn't matter. Hmm. What else is coming out? Page of Swords. Some of you may have found out something that you didn't necessarily want to know, or you're still digging for information. It is in the upright, not in the reverse. So, hmm. very interesting. Again, another card of communication. It's just talking right now. All right, three of cups. What's up with this three of cups? Two of Swords reversed, Ace of Wands reversed. You fought it at first. You didn't take the stick. You fought it at first. I think you kept him in the friend zone for a minute. Some of you. It's, it's safe over there, isn't it? It's safe. But it was a difficult choice to not make a move, wasn't it? It might have been for some of you. But show me this Queen of Pentacles. What's up with this Queen of Pentacles? Give me one of the Queen of Pentacles, please. One, one, one. Hi. Page Cubs. I like it. Hmm. Hmm. She's so adorable. I think this is cute and sweet at first. It's hard to see who sees who is the catch, but... I think you guys are doing a lot of talking. A lot of talking. This feels new, too. This feels new. One more. Five of swords. Oof. Oof. Not necessarily bad. It's not necessarily bad. Um, this may have been hidden or very, on, you know, on the down low, low key. Somebody who was very low key about it might still be. 
Like, you don't want a lot of people to know. Like, things are happening in the shadows. I need one more on this Five of Swords. I... Oh, shoot. Mmm. Seven of Cups reversed. Three of Swords came out. <sighs> Somebody's afraid of getting their heart broken or afraid of breaking the other person's heart. Could be. Or breaking somebody else's heart. Seven of Cups talks about temptations. So, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. All right. I don't know. Hmm. Why the four of pentacles? Somebody's hanging on. Somebody just went on the floor. Nine of Pentacles. That's the Minor Arcana Queen of Pentacles. That's, I mean, it's still a catch. Stubborn. It's a tendency to be independent. Don't need no, she has nine Pentacles of her own. She does not need anyone else's. He, she, insert your pronoun. Doesn't matter to me. Whatever tells your story. Or helps tell your story. Mm. One more on this Four of Pentacles. Ace of Swords reversed. Oof. It can swing either way, and I don't think whatever this is has anything to do with this. I think this is different. I think someone, and this is where the decision comes in, the choice, someone does not want to let you go. And I don't think it's being talked about. Why the Nine of Pentacles? One card. Five of Cups. You're slipping away. They're sad. I think they know. Like they know without being told, like they know without knowing. There's a sadness. Why the Ace of Swords reversed? The Empress. Yeah. And the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles both vibe with the Empress. Because, damn it, she's the catch. Of course they wouldn't want to let you go, Virgo. They don't want to let you go. But it's, it's your life, isn't it? We're going to throw something else on this here in a second. Just a second. Six of Swords. Judgment. The Moon. Yep. Okay. Do you remember me talking about Source and Intervention a little bit ago? Do you remember me discussing that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talking to Source. Source can lead you to water, but they can't make you drink. I think you're being led to water. I 
This is an opportunity to cross that river, that lake, whatever. The, the, the spooky water, I call these the spooky waters. It's like horror movie mist coming up out of that. Like you don't know what's down there, but you're definitely being guided. There's source right there. You can row across that river if you want to. But you have to allow yourself to be led and guided. But in judgment, judgment talks about it's 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 the twenty card. It's a ten. The tens talk about endings and new beginnings. In order for a new beginning to start, something has to be allowed to end. I don't think somebody's going to allow this. The moon card. You see that? This is a smoke and mirrors card. And I think whoever this is, the one that's not letting you go, to me, this is manipulation at the same time, or it can be very much manipulation because you're being led down a trail where you really can't, things are different. They're not as they really are. Know what I'm saying? You're perceiving things differently because you're being fed a bunch of crap, basically. Things look very different in moonlight than they do in the sun. Hmm. Hmm. But they don't want to let you go. You're the catch. They're sad. Or they can be using emotion as a means to manipulate you. I mean, pick whatever resonates. I'm catching that vibe. Okay. Leave this be for a minute. Talk about the future. Why the Four of Swords? Why the Four of Swords? Ooh, Eight of Cups. It's not bad. It speaks out. It's not easy either, though. It's not. For some of you, these cups might be empty. For some of you, these cups might still be full. But you worked hard on those cups. You invested a lot of time and energy into those cups. This is spending time with Source. This is taking the walk with Source right here. Yeah. That's taking a journey. Because the sun's coming up. After that moonlit night. For some of you. I mean, take whatever resonates. One more. Thanks. High Priestess. Speaking of spending time. It speaks of intuition. The dark and the light side of every story. Two sides of the coin. You can also speak of making a choice, making a decision. One's intuition. You know what you need to do, Virgo. It's not going to be easy, but you know what you need to do. You need to do what's best for you. This is your 5D guide. Okay? That's the intuition that lives within us all. You know what you need to do. It's not up to me. It's not up to me. 
Hmm. All right. Get a bottom of that. Ooh, ooh. Seven of Cups upright. Yeah, we're making a choice. Why the Seven of Cups? Ten of Cups and the Star. I like it. You have to take the path that suits you best. You have to do what's best for you. Just be mindful of what's in the cup. Hermit and the Ten of Cups. Virgo, that's your card. That's bliss. That's ten full cups right there. Wow. That's using your intuition, going down inside yourself, listening to that inner guide. Because the light's inside of you, Virgo. The light's inside of you, and it, it's not this this crazy moonlight that's been leading you down a path you didn't want to go down. Because they don't want to let you go. They're exercising what's called a little bit of unhealthy selfishness. I bet you're the catch who would want to let you go. Oh, what are you? You decided to come out and play, huh? Four of Cups. What's in the cup? What's in the cup? All right. Why the prince, Princess of Wands? It's communication. We're going to take them because they tell a story. Wow, a half hour later, okay. Five of Wands, Knight of Swords reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed, Fool reversed, Three of Cups reversed. Mm. Somebody is not going to be thrilled with this communication. And I'm thinking it's whoever this is. Somebody is not thrilled. They don't want you to jump. There's going to be confrontation. Probably cut off some communication. I'm not seeing is that that is a bad thing. You could be the one cutting communication off. You could be the one saying, you know what, enough's enough. I don't want to deal with this. Somebody is not thrilled. There's going to be someone begging you not to jump. Well, of course. They don't want to let you go. Nine of Wands. Oh. Can I get one last shot? Can I get one last chance? One of the Nine of Wands, please. Just one. Ten of Pentacles. I see you. Wow, they may even offer you the whole enchilada, but I have all these wonderful things for you, and 
You really want that pentacle, right? You have the nine, I got the tenth one. Or do they? You need to follow your intuition and decide what you want to do. One more on that tenth pentacle. They're going to try to make you an offer that you can't refuse. They're going to try to butter your biscuit, so to speak. Do what you want. Do what you want. They're going to say to you or offer you anything because they do not want to let you go. It is up to you what you do. But they don't want you to go forward with this. I'll tell you that right now. For some of you, it may even get a little bit ugly, like energetically ugly. Do what you want. You got to do what's best for you. Don't get sucked back into this because this is your opportunity out. You have to listen to your inner gut. Listen to your intuition. It's going to be a hard walk, but you're not walking it alone. You are being led and guided. All right, let's get your advice real quick. And then I got to read for somebody else and I should probably go to bed. <laughs> All right. Mm. Four of cups reversed, high priestess reversed. Don't approach this in like an egomaniacal manner. At the very least, hear them for what they have to say. I know it sounds weird. Don't let, keep your ego in check, essentially. Just keep your ego in check. And don't be afraid to tell them why you don't want their cup. Death and the Princess of Pentacles reversed. Well, there it is. There it is right there. This is part of a soul evolution. Change is a coming. And unless they, whatever this is, is willing to grow and change with you, I wouldn't take whatever they turn off for you. I just wouldn't. Because you're, you're not going to be on the same page. You're just not. I don't think you're on the same page now. That's why this has been allowed to play out. That's why you're being, I won't say forced into a decision, but the universe has given you an option. Don't be afraid to take the option. I wouldn't be afraid to take the option. Emperor reversed and the Knight of Wands. That's an interesting piece of advice. Beware of people who are like out of control and don't quite have their crap together. Wandsy, wandsy, wandsy. This thing about the Knight of Wands, he rides out as fast as he rides in. Be mindful of that. Four of Pentacles reversed and the Six of Pentacles in the upright. Let go and release the things that no longer serve you. Because there's something more equal out there. And I'm going to throw this in there just as a side note. 
I've been through a situation like this before. I have. And it didn't pan out the way I wanted it to, the way I thought it was going to. But it still worked out for the better. If that makes any sense. I was in a toxic situation. And I thought I found a way out. And it wasn't a way out. And I didn't end up with the person that I wanted to be with, but I ended up being away from the person that I needed to be away from. So, even if this situation just leads you down the path where you're supposed to go, you're not out anything. Okay? I'm going to leave you with that, though. Have a wonderful rest of your April. Thanks for coming by today and hanging out and playing cards with me. I love you to bits. Be blessed. Know that you're loved, and I will catch you next time, Virgo.